In this video, we'll be seeing how to calculate distance between two points from a map. We'll be using the API from nextbillion.ai and we'll be calculating the distance and the duration to reach from the origin to the destination. So we'll be seeing how to implement this. I have created a project and I have added necessary things and created some functions so that we can start with the coding part of the calculation of distance. I will explain what I have done in this code. So here you can see that I have included the next billion CSS and the JavaScript APIs. And here we are adding a button and an alert. And these are the classes from Bootstrap. I have also included the Bootstrap library and I have added a map. Now this is the ID for the div. Now we are calling this ID here and we are loading the map to this ID. Here you can see I have provided the API key from Nextbillion. You can get it from the Nextbillion website. Here I have added a onclick listener and you can see I have checked if the count is less than 2. I will go inside the if condition and if the count is equal to 0 I will set the origin, latitude and longitude. And likewise, if the count is equal to 1, I will set the destination. Now we will also be setting the marker for these. So I will show how it works. So let's open this on the Chrome. You can see the project is loaded. So if I click on the map, first I have set the origin. And if I click it again, I have set the destination. You can see I have set the color green and red respectively for origin and destination. So you can see that here in the code, I have declared an array with green and red. And here I am passing the color with index. So the first one will be green and the first one will be origin. See? So like that, we are setting the marker to our map. And this is a function that we'll be using later on to convert seconds to a proper readable time. So let's discuss that later on. So we'll be concentrating on the part where we'll be calculating the distance between two points. So for that, you have to go to this URL. I will give the link on the description can scroll down here you can see an example part you can see a get request to the distance metrics api you can see how the request is sent you can see origins and the destination so we'll be using this let's go to the code and create the function for that so let's create a function get distance now inside you need to get the result element uh, that is the div with the id result this one so we have to get this one in the javascript part so let's create a var document dot get element by id now give the id of the element now let's create a variable for the api url so let's create url equal to now go to the documentation you can see the url so let's copy this till here and let's paste it here let's remove all the origins and destinations now now you can see we are having our api url that is with the parameters 
origins and destinations now we can pass more than one origin and more than one destination but for now for this video we are using one origin and one destination we can pass more than one okay so in order to pass more than one you simply have to add this or symbol okay so this is our first origin the latitude and longitude and this is our second origin see like that you can pass more than one origins okay and destinations also so let's go to our function and here we have to pass our origin and destination so let's pass our origin here so we have declared the origin variable on the top as global so we can access it anywhere so like this let's add the destination also now you can see the mode is 4w i will explain that go to the documentation scroll upwards and you can see the section mode if you are having access to the premium plan you can change it to car bike scooter etc so by default it will be 4w let's keep that same now here you are seeing the key we have to provide our key api key here so api key we have provided as an variable on the top okay now let's save it now our api url is ready and we can fetch the data from this so now let's call the fetch function inside you have to pass the url variable dot then response response dot json then we have to access the data inside this you will get access to the data and now you can loop through the data and access whichever data required by you so let's see the demo of our response scroll down and here you can see the json for the response you can see we are getting a row and elements distance and duration we are getting rows elements and inside that we are getting the distance and duration let's create a for each data dot rows now we get each rows inside this now inside that you can open row dot elements dot for each inside that you will be getting each elements now if you go to the documentation you can see from the elements there will be more than one rows and more than one elements so you have to loop through rows and also the elements once you are inside the elements you will get each elements inside that you can access distance and duration here we are having access to each elements so let's access the distance and duration so let's set it to the results element 
dot first of all let's set the display to block so that it will be visible now let's set the inner text dot inner text now we will be getting the distance distance equal to plus element dot distance now you will get the distance sim let's try running this so let's add the origin and destination now let's click the get distance button okay you can see it's returning an object so let's go to the function you have to access the value dot value so now you will get the distance Let's add the origin and destination. See, now you're getting the distance. Now the distance is in meters. So you have to convert it. So for that, you can do this. So here I am checking if it's greater than 1000. If it's greater than 1000, I'm dividing it by 1000 and converting it to kilometers. That's all. Otherwise, I'm showing it as meters. So that's all. So. You can do it as a function. Let's add the origin and destination. Now you can see it's showing 8.509 kilometers. You can refresh and try it again. It's showing 29.164 kilometers. So let's add the duration also. So to add the duration, you can add a plus symbol and you can start the give it a space and let's type duration now you can access the duration first of all you have to call the function seconds to hours minutes and seconds call the function inside that access the duration which is in seconds element dot duration dot value now that's all we can click the save now let's try refreshing this page and add the origin and destination you can see the duration is also present distance equal to 17.096 kilometer and duration is 51 minutes and 41 seconds you can refresh it and try adding a longer distance Now you can see the duration is 1 hour and 34 minutes. See? And the distance is 47 kilometers. So that's how you can calculate the distance between two points from the map using NextBillion API. So it's very simple. You simply have to call this API and pass the origin and destination. So if you go to the documentation, you can see this clearly you can see the get request you can also make post request so you just have to pass the origins and destinations with the mode and api key that's all and you will get the result in json format and the result will have rows and elements inside that you will get distance and duration now for more details you can refer the API documentation. I will provide this in the description and I will also provide the source code for this so you can refer this. So that's all with the get distance function. You can see that we are calling the get distance function from the button on click equal to get distance function. Okay. So we are calling it here.
that's why we are getting the data when we are clicking the button so don't forget to call the function hope you understand the video if you are having any doubts you can leave a comment i will respond to your comments if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos